Hi folks, Total Sales Solutions, Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks. We sell lots of trucks, folks. Mostly we sell late model or higher dollar diesel trucks. But you know, we constantly have people calling us that just need a truck. I mean, I just need a truck around the house, farm, pull a boat, full wood or whatever. We're going to list that today. It's a cool little truck. Strangely enough, they've gotten really popular. And I promise you, for what we're going to sell this <coughs> for today, you can't go find another one. It's a 2007 Seven. Ranger. It's an extended cab, V6, automatic, sitting on a good set of tires, got the spare underneath it, ice cold air conditioning, just a good little truck. So if you've been needing one, you don't have to go spend all the money in Egypt to buy you a truck to just roam around in. Plus, this one looks good enough. You can drive it every day. You can drive it as a daily driver. It's not beat up, not chipped up. Just a nice truck. Look at it here. Sets up, has a good stance. You got you the newer style front end and headlights on it. You don't have to worry about rust issues. It's a local Mississippi truck, as I said. A little extended cab, V6 automatic, ice cold air. Look in here. Cloth seats. Everything works. It's a... Uh, Headliner's not stained, dash it and crack. Well, the headliner's not sagging and all that. Now, there is a crack in the windshield, but it's on the bottom. So I'm not going to worry about it. But if it bothers you for an extra $150, I can get it fixed. But look in here. You can see here there's no rust issues. It's not eat up, not banged up. It's hard to find a little truck like this. That's, that's really usable, that, that, that's drivable, that you could use every day for the kind of money we, we can sell this for. You can see here there's no paint work. They always show that, the spares underneath it the way it should be. Uh, little tailgate's not beat up, banged up. Yeah, I'll open up and it down here, got a bed liner in it. Looks good. Down the side here, I mean, this is a pretty good find. You, We've got here, folks, and these little things bring astonishing money at auctions. They've been washing on that. That's all that is, cleaning out the uh, Handy as it can be. Handy you know, as a three-ball Tomcat. Yeah, and it's got, uh, it doesn't have carpet in it, which is a really a good thing if you just want a little truck to use to hunt fish out of or as a daily driver. But this is a nice little truck, folks. You'll like everything about it. An automatic V6, ice cold air, pretty nice set of tires on it, spares underneath it. Not anything not to like about this little Ranger. Thanks for watching our video, folks. We appreciate it very much. Look forward to visiting with you about this little Ranger. Seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi, folks. Dan Dell here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a little quick test drive show you a couple more things on the truck see it's got a AM FM stereo cold air there's your uh, overdrive on off button no warning lights lit on the dash um, this truck doesn't pull to the left or right doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes turn the radio down a little bit um, you like to excuse my shaky camera work because as usual I'm Filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. So even though the video may come out a little shaky, rest assured the truck itself has a great ride and drive. It fires up in the morning, uh, no problem, doesn't make any weird noises or anything like that. No issues there. Um, we've gone over the truck front to back. I think... Uh, what have we done to it? Uh, I think we put a new thermostat in it, and uh, I think we did we did something else, but I can't think of it. But anyway, the truck's fine. Oh, we put a. Uh, it's got new uh, new bearings and the wheel hubs up front. We got a brand new set of bearings and uh, new brake pads. So. Um, old pads were, were had material left but you know just wasn't much so while we were doing the the wheel bearings went ahead and um, put
put some new brake pads on it so you know it'll be safe to drive good to go um, no issues there you can see I mean it, it drives down the road just like it should um, not a whole lot to talk about with it really I mean it's got uh, there's a rear view mirror side mirrors got a windshield got a steering wheel uh, it's it's got what you need it ain't got a lot more than that but it's got what you need and you know it's a southern truck with no rust that's that's the big thing it's got the v6 engine so it does have a little bit of power it's not um, you know these four cylinder ones will barely get out of their own way but it's got the three liter v6 it's a good motor they put it in all kind of different things and um, it's held up real well I mean if we told you this truck had 133 instead of 233 you believe us I mean it's it's a clean truck most of these at this point in their lives they're all ragged out worn out beat up you know they've been driven by delivery drivers and stuff who don't care what they run into or bounce them off of or any of that and this one has obviously been much better taken care of uh, than your average uh, than your average work truck and plus you know it's got cold air that's the that's the good thing at least it is down here I mean it's uh, now we do need to clean the windshield although our guys have scrubbed on it apparently you think something that obvious they clean but they don't uh, we'll have the windshield clean though headliners in good shape got one little spot right there I don't know what that's from um, it's not a, a, a smoke hole or anything there's they haven't been smoked there's no smoke odors no pet odors none of that um, that's, that kind of thing you don't have to worry about um, it's not pecked up behind the wheels so it hadn't been you know driving up and down gravel roads and that kind of garbage um, goes down the road like it should if you want to fly into Jackson International Airport and anytime during the week we'll pick you up at no extra charge we'll come back to our place do the paperwork and feedback and everything and then let you get on the road um, or if you're like most of our customers you're from the Northeast the Midwest you're buying from us because we got great prices and rust free trucks and we understand you may not have time to spend several hours driving or flying down and then driving home so if that's the case if you look online for shipping quotes don't let the prices you get scare you off because depending on how much of a hurry you're in we can save you as much as half off the reason for that is most of these guys you find online aren't actual shippers they're just brokers they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a uh, deposit but all it really is is their broker's fee for arranging for someone else to haul your vehicle well they all use this one website that's not open to the public it costs about two grand a year to be a member but we're on it now so basically we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping it's a free service we just make the arrangements we find somebody to haul it to you and um, you pay us for the truck up front either FedEx a cashier's check or do a bank wire we send you the title and stuff post it for shipping and then when they drop the truck off you just hand the driver cash for shipping it's a real smooth deal if you're interested shoot me a text 601-376-9869 with your zip code and I can get you a good ballpark figure on shipping or if you're anywhere near Houston or Dallas or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida we can get you a real good deal on shipping so like I said if you're interested let me know and I'll be glad to get you a good ballpark quote on that um, or if you have any questions about the truck let me know I'll be glad to talk with you about it if I don't answer the phone just hang up and shoot me a text don't leave me a voicemail um, I generally answer my phone from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. if it's after those times just shoot me a text and I answer those at all hours of the day and night but um, anyway like I said there's not a whole lot more to say I mean it's an 07 Ranger um, 
Now you can see it does have that crack in the windshield, but honestly, if you get a guy who'll do it, the guys that do that rock repair, if, if they can take their time, they can make that turn into nothing. It'll look like a black thread uh, without even having to worry about putting a new windshield in it. If you can find somebody that will uh, go through that effort, not, not everybody will. We had a guy that used to do it, and he moved, unfortunately. So we don't have him anymore, to, uh, or we'd already had that done. But, you know, some people care and some people don't so I don't want to sell it to somebody that doesn't really care anyway and then that's just extra money I have to collect and take for the truck that I could have sold it for less so if that makes sense so anyway if you uh, have any questions give me a call my number is 601 like I said 376-9869 I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have about the truck, about shipping, or how any of that works, or uh, payment, uh, whatever you may want to know. Now, we've been driving over eight minutes. I just want to show you the dash one more time. You can see no service lights, no warning lights, none of that. I like to show the dash after I've been driving a while because, you know, it's easy to kill a light with your scan tool and take a picture and say, oh look, no lights. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then as soon as you go to driving it again, that light's gonna come right back on. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's why I like to show the dash after we've been driving a little while. So you can see for yourself that there really are no lights in it. So uh, beyond that, like I said, if you have any questions, give me a call. Otherwise, we appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything we've had to say and look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.